it's Kay. Hope you're feeling cute today. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to do a lot of voiceover, so please bear with me. As you probably read from the title, for today's video, I'm going to show you again how I take my Instagram photos, but this time, we're going to be outdoors. Now, I know the pandemic is still not over for most countries, including mine, but thankfully my family and I had the chance to go to the beach after almost a year of quarantine, but of course, still following some safety protocols. Okay, going back, we're going to talk about how I take my IG pictures, including my usual makeup routine, my outfits, the setup, posing, and a few editing tips as well. Hopefully, after this video, you get inspired to take cute IG pictures even when you're alone. If you haven't seen my Instagram, this is how it looks like right now. I don't usually plan my feed, but the vibe of most of my pictures right now are more on the colorful and vibrant side and I'm really loving it. Before we get started with taking photos, this is my usual makeup look whenever I go out. Sometimes I add a bit of eyeshadow, but we're at the beach today, so I guess this will do. For my sunscreen, I'm using DU Pro's UV Defense Sun Cream because I don't want to get sunburned again. Then I just brushed my brows with brow soap to put it in place. I added a bit of tinted sunscreen to conceal my red marks, blush on my cheeks, and nose. Lots of powder because I'm oily. And then a bit of contour to define my barely noticeable nose bridge. For my lips, I'm wearing Issy & Co Lip Mousse in the shade Fatal. I'm just going to try to take some fun shots here using my tripod and my iPhone SE. Let's do this! To officially start the video, we have our first setting, the beach. For this one, the concept is chill beach vibe. I'm just wearing this cute CF shirt and matching black bikini bottoms. As you can see, I just buried the stand of my tripod under some sand so it won't fall down since it was really windy that day and I'm just using my iPhone SE timer to take the pictures. This tripod is really convenient because it's not that heavy so I can carry it while strolling around the place. After a few good rounds of going back and forth to set up the timer, I was able to take some cute raw shots like these. Then, when I noticed that the lady was walking away from the platform thingy earlier, I knew it was my turn to go there. This is such a beautiful scenery and we all know that I just can't pass by this location without taking any cute pictures. It was really windy so it was kind of a struggle setting up the tripod because it might fall down the water and break the only phone I have that has good camera quality. So I took a few pictures as quickly as I can and I'm so glad I got some good raw shots. When it comes to editing, I just use PixArt. I open my photos, select effects, select film 3 filter, and adjust the fade, blur, and noise according to my liking. 
I just do the same thing to the other pictures. I really like how this filter made the photo somehow look like it was taken through a film camera. This is the carousel that I posted on Instagram. For the second set, we're going for that soft island girl vibe. I don't really like to take pictures of myself while wearing a bikini in front of lots of strangers, but I know I can do it if I was alone with no one watching me. So I tried to find an area at the beach that's far away from other people. And then I took pictures as quickly as I can. And whenever anyone would pass by me, I didn't really mind them as long as they weren't staring. The raw pictures turned out better than I expected because the lighting is so good and the scenery looked absolutely beautiful. For the editing, I just used Lightroom. This is the raw and then this is the edited version. For this set, these are the lighting adjustments that I did. I also did some color adjustments to enhance some specific colors. But I made sure that it wasn't too saturated because we don't want that. I also adjusted the grain just to add some effect to the photo. And then that's it. I just did the same to the other photos. I didn't really want to do that much because I already liked the raw quality. This is the set that I posted on Instagram. Here are other post ideas if you're a shy girl like me but you want to try to take cute pictures while wearing cute swimwear. Hi! So I found this cute spot. For the next setting, I found this beautiful tree that I think was decorated to look like the rabbit hole from Alice in Wonderland. It was also kind of scary because there were birds flying around the tree. As usual, I set up my tripod and did some posing. I wore this cute white off-shoulder dress and matching white socks and sneakers for that monochromatic look. The tree was lovely but the best lighting was on the other side so it took me a while to get some good shots. But here are the raw photos that I got. When it comes to editing this set of pictures, I just used my photos app to make some lighting and color adjustments. When I saw the photos clearly, the lighting wasn't actually that bad. It actually turned out pretty well. I wanted to get that natural color vibe for this set, but again, not too saturated. Here's how the photos turned out after editing, and I really like it. Next concept is picnic girl vibe. It would have been really nice to have a picnic there at that time, but I wasn't able to plan it so I'll just try to do it some other time. In terms of posing, you could play around with some hand poses and you could also extend your legs a bit while doing some sitting poses to take advantage of that big space. In the raw photos, I had a few minor wardrobe malfunctions but I didn't really want the photo to go to waste so I just used Pixar to edit my skirt to look a bit longer. And then I went to the Photos app to do some lighting and color adjustments. I wanted the photo to look naturally colorful and really summery. I did the same to the other photos and did some necessary cropping as well. This is a set that I posted on Instagram.
While sightseeing around the place, I saw this beautiful part of the lagoon. I really like how my all-white outfit stood out on this beautiful, colorful scenery. I did some standing poses here since I took a lot of sitting poses at the other locations. I really love how the photos turned out, but I noticed how short I looked here. I'm 5'4 and it doesn't really show on this picture. So I tried to do the trick that I saw on TikTok the other day. You can instantly make your legs look longer and a bit less awkward by adjusting the vertical angle on the photos app. I really love this because sometimes I don't get the right camera angle because of the tripod, so sometimes my legs look a bit awkward, but this trick really helped. And then I proceeded with doing some adjustments to get rid of the harsh lighting and to enhance the colors and make it more vibrant. This set really reminds me of the beautiful Nami Island in Korea. I also added some posing ideas whenever you're at the park or wherever there's beautiful scenery and you just want to take full body shots or even portrait shots as well. Ayun, dati nahihiya pa ako magpicture sa sarili ko in public and hanggang ngayon naman nahihiya pa rin ako. Pero iniisip ko na lang, I'm just here being cute, minding my own business and if they can't mind theirs, then that's their problem. Period. Naisip ko lang, some people may think na Ano ba yan? Nasa beach ka? Nasa labas ka? Tapos nagpipicture-picture ka lang. <laughs> Dapat mag-enjoy ka, ganyan, ganyan. But what if this is what I enjoy doing? I really enjoy creating content. So, if I do this sa beach, I think it's okay. For me, as long as I'm happy with what I'm doing and I'm not pressured to make content just for the sake of making content. Okay, so quick recap on how I take my Instagram pictures. Um, I usually look for a place with good lighting and also a background that will fit my outfit for that day. I just use my iPhone SE. This is actually a phone with a good quality camera. If I don't bring this, I use my iPhone 8 Plus. I just use this tripod. This tripod actually came with a remote, but sadly, I broke it. I guess that's it for today's video. I hope you guys learned something and I hope you also got inspired to take pictures on your own even in public and in different locations. If you enjoy videos like this, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thank you!